what's the point of having an updated phone when shit doesn't work? Like, <laughs> I don't get it. Why did I buy? I put it on there, I'm waiting for you. All right, we're locked in. Why we're did I buy this phone minute. and it does not work the way I want it to work? Like, I have a Samsung S Note 10 Plus. And <laughs> <laughs> what was the point? It doesn't work. <laughs> but it's cool because even this end, even though I'm coming into yours, it'll still show that I, I'm on live on, on this. So everybody was. Oh, it will? On. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we just do it a little bit backwards. but I'm sorry. Know. I don't know what the hell was going on. I was so mad because I'm like, why isn't this shit working? I don't yeah, like technology was, as it is. No lie. Like, I hate technology. I just bought a TV <laughs> this month. <laughs> Hey, it, it's something new. It's something new. It got to come with a few little challenges, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. But, you know, hopefully everybody, everybody will still gravitate and get, come on. Um, Hi, yeah. guys. Yes, yes, yes. Hello, everybody. You know, um, that's so crazy it did not work. Yeah, so um, everybody's going to put, like, questions into the box, you know, um, as we go on and everything, so you can actually see them. You know, um, they have yeah. to like the bottom with that little question mark. Yeah, yeah, I don't have one on my end. Like you. Have so will it one. will it light up or something? Yeah, yeah, as as we as we go on, <laughs> you're gonna have to do this. I believe in you. I believe in you. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna light up with numbers. You know what I mean? Yes, yeah, I'm on Vampire Life. I can't I can't see it on this end. So yeah, so it's just it's just light up with numbers. But most okay. Definitely. But thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining no me. Like I said, I record the live. Please save it. And then I record the live. You know okay. I mean? But yeah. <laughs> oh, it's kind of different having it online because people know, but people don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of people are about to, like, that will join are going to, like, be like, oh, what the fuck, me? Like, when did your life change? Oh. Um, <laughs> So let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. Um, what kind of poly are you? What would you define your poly being? Um, to be honest, I have dated more women than I've dated men. I kind of like last year, I started dating men again after like years. So I can't see my life without a woman in it. It is impossible. I, I, it's like I, I'm not breathing properly without a woman in my life. It just doesn't feel good. There can be a man, but if, if there's no woman, it's not going to work. And I know that sounds bad, but, like, that's just me. Yeah. No, I mean, that, that's understandable. That, that's, that's understandable because it does benefit in this type of relationship, you know, um, being a polyamorous. You know, I'm um, having the ability. So you are. Uh, let me ask you like this then. So are you obviously you're single? You know what I mean. Um, yes. You know, in case those that don't know, you are single. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but so since it's like that, right? Are you only looking for couples to have that balance with a male female? Um. Let me think about that. I have dated two couples so far. Sorry for the cricket video, but no, I've cool. dated I've dated two couples so far. Um and getting into it was very nerve wracking. I, I that's the most nervous shit I've ever like besides auditioning in front of, you know, a big ass panel, like this is the second nerve wracking thing that I've ever done in my life. It's trying yeah. to learn how to date again because I've been single for almost four years. So that was new. And then jumping into this, trying to date two people at once, that's a shit load <laughs> of pressure. <laughs> like, and I fumbled the fucking ball in my first relationship. So I was so funny. nervous. I didn't know what to do, where to go. I didn't know the boundaries. I talked way too fucking much. It was just a lot going on because trying to maneuver between two personalities and trying not to overstep your boundary it's very difficult because the male could be more relaxed about it, but the, the female wouldn't, or the female would be way more relaxed than the male. 
Yeah. And it's just the dynamic. So I could be in a girl girl relationship, like an all female relationship. I could do that. Do you know we had the Manny team, the Manny team? Yeah, I, I, I the follow them right? too. Yeah, I follow them too. Oh, yeah. and my handle, my handle is Lavasia. That's Levesia. my middle name. Yes. Uh, so you could have told me on the phone when I called you and talked to you. You gonna correct me on live? Oh my god! <laughs> no, you said it. <laughs> Are you serious right now? Right in front of everybody? But you said it. So I was like, let me go ahead and just say this now and get it out the way. My bad. Yeah, yeah. Nah, Thank nah, you, Tony. Nah. Yeah, most definitely. So, you so you can see yourself only with um. What would you prefer more than? Would you prefer to date the couple since you already had your um trials with the couple, which I'm gonna still touch on with your experiences going down with them. You know, um, would you prefer knowing how sometimes the male reacts, especially since you're more attracted to the woman, to be rather in an all lesbian triad? At first, I thought it'd be too much estrogen walking around the room. You know. <laughs> yeah. I shit can get real yeah. I mean shit like I dated women for the past 15 years just in general just women and when I say shit gets heated those situations you really don't walk from because they're two women so you know it's hard for us to let shit go just in general somebody's got to let go and it's going to be a tug of war so imagine three women in that situation yeah that's like a lot and I thought that was going to be like an overload for me but after dating, after like getting to know the dynamic, there's always going to be that one person who's just the middleman in everything. Like there's going to be that one person be like, okay, let's just, you know, calm down. There's going to be a person that's going to be like, all right, let's ease. Let's chill out. Let's go to our respective corners. And there was one thing like me and the second couple always used to do. Like if two people got to arguing, I'd be like, this is a couple situation, not a a thruple, so y'all need to handle that. I'm gonna sit over here and wait to see the end result. You know, I would, or they would do it. They would step out of the situation and be like, "Nah, y'all need to figure that out," because I ain't got nothing to do with that. You know, and so we would have to figure out the situation on our own. So being with two women, I could do it. It that doesn't. I could. I mean, I could do it with two men. I mean, yeah, I could do it with two men, too. I could do it with the whoever. I'm not a big wait, person okay, wait, on labels. Wait, 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 because you said you need a woman. You know what I mean? Is, is I would still have, no lie, if I was dating two men, I'd still have a side piece as a woman. There's no bullshit in that. I mean, well, they would just... You get a triad, though. It could be a poly quad where you have... No, I don't, I don't need that. Which, so why you, why you have a side piece? Well, I mean, <laughs> y'all don't have to live together. <laughs> yeah, I, I like... To, I I I can say I there's something about women that just gets to me. I can't trust me. I know something about. <laughs> I, I mean, I can relate. I, I'm with you there. I'm with you there. <laughs> and no. for me, it has. To, if, if me and the woman do not connect, me and that man is not going to make it. And that's what happened with my my second relationship. It was hard because the, the, did they expect the the relationship to kind of um, build the same? Like at well, the time. they kind of had their own way of thinking and handling situations. Like when we decided that when me and the woman decided that it wasn't going to work because our communication wasn't together and we were always thinking the wrong thing when it came to each other. It was just a big ass misunderstanding. But with women, you know, after shit builds up, it's like, what's the point? Yeah. But with them, it was like, oh, I don't want to date you, but he still wants to date you. And I'm cool with that. And it, it, yeah, it kind of like didn't sit well with me and it made me feel really awkward. And so I'm a Sagittarius. I'll try anything once that doesn't harm my body. Yeah. So I tried it and it just felt empty, you know, even though me and his connection were like this, like Martin and Gina, I'm that type of female. I like to crack on your ass. That's how I show affection. That's just me. I'm very light. Um, Hey, Sag. Um, <laughs> but, you know, when he told me how he really felt about me, it was like, okay, shit just got real. Yeah. And I couldn't reciprocate those feelings. Just because the wife could, wasn't involving herself with it? Because it wasn't whole. That's not what I set up, set up yeah. for. And I'm the type of person that if I set my mind to something, that's what I want. And it's not going to go either way. I can compromise on some shit 
when we're inside the relationship, but the the basis of it, I'm not going to compromise on that. Yeah. So I had to take a step back. And I've been chilling for the past couple of months, you know, just trying to stay away from everything. Before when I say everything, I, I, I'm quarantined. Yeah, I think we all are at this moment, too. No, I'm, I'm, but... But with 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 the with what you learned, you said your second one. What happened with the first situation? What was your whole first poly situation? I was brand fucking new. I didn't know what to do, and you gotta stumble and fall before you actually can walk. So yeah. I was very like timid, and she was very relaxed. She encouraged me to engage with him. Yeah, and. I think it was more so of the con like she wasn't much of a talker, but in order for me to understand something, I need to communicate. And we just didn't click like that. So with that perspective, it just didn't work out for her. Which I'm okay with because it's a learning experience. I yeah, don't never you gotta, you gotta actually stay aware with everything and all that. And what's crazy is right, a lot of people don't understand the challenges of the person coming in. Uh, you do like I, I loved how you hit me up and was like, yo, you know what? You need to let me speak from the perspective from us, from the outside coming into a situation. We always hear the couples and everything. And I was like, hell yeah, that's what's up. Because y'all do have so much challenges. Like coming into a situation, what is your mindset to, um, when you're looking into, into something like when a couple approaches you or something like that, what is your... My first to, thing? Yeah, what are you looking for? Like what is there? That the first thing off? I go to is their page. Like if I have like, you know, we have the general and the primary message things. Well, you can't really talk to me unless I accept your request to conversate with me. So what I do is I go to your page if it's open and I look at the dynamic that you have going on. And if it's all sex, I don't even answer you. If you have a bunch of men, memes and shit like that and there's no pictures of you, I don't answer you. Like there are certain ways to get to me and those things will cut you out. And then if you're over 40, why? Damn, why are you 40? I don't know how to feel about that. Why? <laughs> I'm 30. I'm 34. I don't need a daddy. I'm 37, but still that kind of hurt my feelings. Um, oh, you ain't nowhere. Shush. I you got time. This is sex. <laughs> you're not 40. I'm close to it. We round off numbers like we learned in elementary. I'm there. But no, <laughs> but no. Most if you look like you can be my daddy, why are you trying to talk to me? I feel you. Do you get approached by that? Like, I get that... approached by older couples all the time. Like, I'm not trying to be your child. Yeah. That's not going to work for me. I, when I went on Melanin Poly Nation and I put my profile out there, I was very distinctive of what I wanted and what I was looking for. Everything but that hit me up. It was like nobody was reading. Everybody was just so infatuated with the pictures. And then they go to my page and they see me dancing. And then all of a sudden, oh, let me try to shoot my shot. Fuck what she has to say. Because you're beautiful. Everybody, like what you just told me right now with the whole description, if I was single myself, of course I'm shooting my shot. Y'all, she loving lady. She can't see. I'm loving all that right there. And then everything you do that don't know your personal stuff, like I told you, you be dancing, doing all that. Like, that's great. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it is the, it is 2020. It shoots your shot all the time. You know what I mean? So. I yeah, but be be decisive when you shoot your shot. Do some homework. <laughs> don't just don't be shooting in the air and missing. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? With that mindset, you know what I mean. Let me ask you like this, then. When it comes to the couples, right, that approach you, is it mainly the man since you're saying over forty? Is it mainly the man or is it mainly the women? When it comes to the men, they're by themselves. They're trying to join, oh, like they're trying to form a triad. So it's mostly them alone. And I'm like, granddaddy, come on, stop. Like, just <laughs> pause for a second. <laughs> what? How to have a heart attack at an early age? Because that's what you're going to get dealing with me. Like, don't do that to yourself. Stay in your lane. Like, people don't want to. It's a sad truth, but we're physical before we're anything else. It is. We're animalistic. So if I can't see myself fucking you, why would I con like keep going to a conversation with you? There's no point because then yeah. you're just going to build a friendship because you ain't going to get shit else from me. 
that's just being honest. And a lot of people don't want to be honest about the situation. Yeah. Like, if you, if I'm not physically attracted to you, there's no way I'm going to switch that. There's no way yeah. that's going to turn off. I'm a Sagittarius. I'm heat. I'm fire. <laughs> like, I'm physical. Yeah. No, that's honest facts. You know what I mean? Because that's the first thing that I'm going to look at when I'm seeing you across before I even entertain you with any time. You know, it's going to be your looks. Your looks is going to draw me. And in, in my mind, I'm like, can I see myself fucking her on a regular basis? Or can I see myself fucking him or him watching me fuck her? Can I do that? That is my first question. Damn, that's shit. That's, 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 let me get that out the way. That mm -hmm. way I can get to the deep shit. Mm -hmm. So let me get past the surface so I can dig deep. Because after I get past your looks, okay, now I'm thinking about your personality. What yeah. kind of dynamics you're looking? Do you want kids? Are you wanting me to move? Like, what else is there? And when it comes to the women that approach me, some of them are... Oh, gosh. Um... <laughs> Some of them are very, very explicit, like vulgar. <laughs> like, I know I dance sexually, and that's only because that's how I express myself, because 90% of the time, I'm goofy as shit. All the time, I don't take myself seriously. But when I dance, that's my time to explore my sexuality, get women to be comfortable about themselves. That's the only reason why I teach dance, but teach regular women. It's okay to be sexy for yourself. Yeah. Women yeah. wear so many hats all day. We wear too many hats, but we don't wear one for ourselves. So it's part of self care for me and for women who just want to feel good about themselves without having to please anyone else around them. So mm -hmm. when people look at my videos and they think that's all that I am, automatically dismiss you and most women do that to me that is the craziest like you know i would think that more from the male perspective you know that that they would do that never really would think that male would do that approach with you you know what i mean to be women a, are person. way more explicit to savages. me than men savages. they are savages like one girl she messaged me and she's like i just want to eat and i'm like are you hungry go get you some food like what the fuck like no <laughs> hi how you doing <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I, I, I know. I've heard someone else say that. Like you know, and I, you know, and I'm glad you. Hi, everybody that just joined. I'm yeah, not ignoring you guys. Everybody at the table. Everybody, Aaron. Everybody joined us. What's it called um? Because it happened to Shalon, my, my first <laughs> wife. She had someone at her job talking about. Look, look. I just want to eat your pussy. And I was like, what? She told you what? At her job? Yeah, at her job. HR. Said, Hello. Yeah. Put it on my face. <laughs> so, and I always say women are savages. And I get, so in, I get so embarrassed. And I don't know why, but I get so embarrassed when women approach me like that. It's like, you're a woman. Would you want a woman approaching you like that? I know you're married, but damn. Have a little bit more class about the situation. You are trying to date somebody. You're not just yeah. trying to fuck them. <laughs> it's a difference. But, but yeah, it, it, but I mean the whole pro, I mean the whole thing, you know. What I mean, um, I never know how women approach other women, you know. What I mean, how, how that whole steelo or everything goes, you know, and especially to bring them into a couple situation. I don't know if they and this is where it gets confusing with polyamory, with everything, polygamy, whatever you're doing. First of all, let me explain to everybody: she is polyamory, not polygamy. So from all that build up things that y'all are not hearing, she is not with that. But um. You know, from polyamory, when they hear that description, they instantly think of sex. And then the, the fucked up part is most women, I thought it was mainly males, but, you know, now understanding women do it too. They approach you on a sexual aspect, what they can use you for sexually. You know what I mean? They don't understand. It, it comes to coming into a situation, it looks sometimes as if I'm just going to be a pleasure for the moment. Or a toy. Or a toy. Like, I don't, yeah. and it's, it's, it's not even just that, it's what they put out. Like, I'm not going to put anything on my page that I'm not, that doesn't represent me. So as a woman, you putting out pictures of you, of, of, of a girl eating out a girl and just very sexual pictures talking about, I need a girlfriend. No, you want a fuck partner. You don't want no girlfriend. You looking for something you can play with, something you and your husband can enjoy. I'm not going to be that shit. Have you ever found yourself in that situation that made you want to steer away from that situation? You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of trial and error in these relationships. Yeah, I, I actually I actually was actually tr trying to date a couple, but all they wanted to fucking do was party. 
24 seven. Like it was just all about having a good time. And don't get me wrong. Everybody likes to have a good time. You need to unwind. This life is hard. Yeah. So having those times to unwind and just say, fuck it, I get it. But you can't say, fuck it every day. Yeah, that's facts. That's facts. There got to be some type of establishment. We're going to try to build with each other, get to know each other on another level. Let's meet each other mentally, spiritually, everything. I and they wasn't trying to go deeper. And I had to cut them loose. And they was like, we thought we were doing great. And I'm like, bruh, you don't even want to talk about your damn kids. It's you got children that you don't even want to discuss. So, like, why would I even do that with you? You know, like, it just doesn't make any sense. And so when it comes to women approaching me, it's like, I ask people, I'm like, did you, they was like, we see you on Melanin Pollination. I'm like, did you read my profile? Uh, uh, we want to talk to you first. Okay, so if you read my profile, you know, I'm looking for someone who's athletic. You ain't even close to being that. Like, Come on. They got to fit the description. Male Thank you. Female, correct? Male yes, female. male and female. I'm sorry. It's already hot enough with three people in the bed. Do we want three big people in the bed rolling on each other? No. Wait a <laughs> Like, that's just me. And I don't have, an, I don't have nothing against big people. Don't that's have any, I but know. that's not my preference. Yeah. You, you know? You want. Especially, I, I think... I, think I am... I I'm that. not... I would give you every praise on that, right? Because I think, um, especially join already an established relationship, you should really focus on your preference, on what you want, because you're coming into a situation. Not just your preference, your presentation. Yeah. Couples do not present themselves on a dating status. You know, when single people date, our first impression is so important. Like yeah. when I go on a first date, Hair done. You know, I don't wear a lot of makeup and shit like that, but my hair is done. I'm in heels. I got my lashes on. I'm stepping out correct because I am, this is my selling point for you to get to know me past me, past my looks. I got to draw you in. I'm sorry, but when you sit on the couch with your rolls hanging out, hair looking fucked up, dreads all over the place, smoking a blunt, I'm sorry, that's not fucking appealing. Why you met something like that? I've seen a lot of couples that hit me up like that and think they think nothing's wrong with that. Yeah. If you're going to smoke smoke, but don't be posting that shit all over Instagram. Don't nobody want to yeah. see that shit. Like yeah, that's not appealing to me. Like, I don't want to see that shit. I want to see somebody who's positive, who works out, who who's goal driven, who likes doing other things, not just posting about smoking and fucking a woman and, and constantly needing a girl. Like that shit is not appealing. So and so couples, so, Couples so me, feel like because they're already together, that's it. Mm -hmm. I, I agree. I agree. I agree. So that, that's that's what I was gonna ask you next. Like, so seeing that, so because me personally, you know, I'm I, I have to be in tune with everything because I'm trying to educate myself, make sure the people I talk to, I'm actually focused and know what's going on to pass any information. And that's one thing I do see a lot of. I do see a lot of sex folks. A lot of smoke and a lot of whatever and everything couples that's putting itself out there you know what i mean so that does really affect you guys coming into the situation of what you're looking for presentation is everything for you guys with that being noted what is the biggest difference that you besides that scene with the first first date approach like if i'm one-on-one -on -one with you of course my focus and everything is on you how is it with um two people always trying to how is that whole little approach situation which like the first to... date or the icebreaker? Yeah. The the first date. And the most um, goddamn icebreaker. The icebreaker. You know, like the first date, I, 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 I try to treat couples like I would treat a single person. That first date, you're not paying for my food because we're getting to know each other. That's like a meet and greet. You get what I'm saying? Oh my, like, I, I must be old because, goddamn, when I used to date, we paid for everything. Like, you just... Took another shot of my age. I don't even know. I'm 34. We're three <laughs> years apart, bruh. I'm playing with you. I'm playing with you. But yeah, but yeah, you know, but yeah. But but yeah, yeah, like that first date for me, you're not paying for my food. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take care of myself. All I'm trying to do is get to know you, trying to see if we connect outside of the phone. Yeah. So we hang out, we talk, we conversate. You do not pick me up at my house. I will meet you there. You know, 
I don't need nobody having any close contact with me that's not going to be in my life permanently. Facts. That's just who I am. And on that first initial date, because we've already talked for a while, it's basically seeing if we can actually balance each other out person to person or all three of us. Yeah. Are we connecting? Is the body language hitting? I'm a, I'm, I, I'm a very big person on body language. Do, do, I, do, when you read the body language, do you prefer to have both of them there where you could study all that? And study yes. Or do you prefer one-on-one? -on -one? What's the point of one-on-one? -on -one? If we trying to be you know, because on sometimes sometimes some people say I'd rather meet the wife first and see if I connect with yeah, that's what that's what they put out there. I Me, I first. prefer I prefer to meet both. I need to see the dynamic between you two. I need to see who's comfortable and who's not comfortable. I need to see who's more ease, who's more laid back, who's more on point with the conversation. I need to see the dynamic if all three of us are gonna flow. I don't yeah. need to meet one and then meet the other and then we all three get together and shit ain't popping. <laughs> you ain't gonna give the man some time. Maybe the woman is dope, but you know what I mean. And the man some time. Is I like to meet everybody. It's either all or nothing. I can understand that. I, it's I, either I, all or nothing, and and that's just how I feel. You know. <laughs> I've so, always wondered. I've always wondered. Because there's no that, point. It's no point of meeting one and one at the different times. Because if I click with the girl and then. I have another date with a guy and I don't click with him. Now I got to go back and tell her, hey, it ain't working out. Then she going to go to him. Why you, what happened? Like, it's just too much. It causes, it causes chaos. Yeah. So instead of it causing chaos, let's just do this shit together. That's what we're trying to do anyways. Why are we trying to break shit up? Now, if it's later on down the line in a relationship where we've been dating for X amount, yeah, we're going to have separate dates. We're going to want to do girl, girl things and shit like that. I get it. But in the beginning, no. It gotta be focused. It's got to be a focus. With a focus. That's, Man, that's crazy. That that I, I get it. I get it. So you never okay. So in a situation, because I know you said it ended your your second relationship ended with the male still Gina and Martin. You know what I mean? The the, the wife wasn't really connected in that level yet. But has it ever been at the beginning situation? Or can if it does future wise, if you find yourself in that predicament where it's like you're rocking with one pretty heavy and you're still trying to figure the other one out. You know, can you still rock with that whole situation? Hold on. Get your ass down. You're talking to, you, you're talking to your babies. Look at that. You're tight. I know you're tight. <laughs> and I mean pets. Everybody's going to be making her baby pets. <laughs> yes, I have two pets, guys. I have a cat and a dog. So I'm I talk to them like my too. kids. You know what I mean? Um, but. Some but I do give it time you know like if you're gonna put in the effort fucking put in the effort don't just bow out at the beginning yeah like with her that was our second time around with that couple oh, the second couple we tried once it didn't work then they came back and wanted to try again yeah and I gave it another chance that's when you was at the um Canada yeah, the with the snow shit. The, yeah, um, yeah, I remember. Tell you, yeah, I remember. I talked to you. So yeah. it didn't. It 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 just the communication was fucked up. Nothing else yeah. was fucked up between me and her, but our communication was off. Yeah. And if we could have got on the same page and stopped thinking so outwards towards each other, it probably would have worked. But for me, I'm not breaking up nobody's home. That's facts. That's I'm just facts. not gonna do that shit. You gonna work it out with your wife. I don't care if you want me or not. Y'all signed. Y'all signed up for this together. So y'all gonna leave together. Mm -hmm. And I just personally. But, so that doesn't how okay, but you easily say that, right? Uh -huh. You know what I mean. You easily say that, and I get it. But of course, everybody catches emotions. Everybody catches feelings. We have to do that logically because you're speaking logically. You know what I mean? That's not off emotion. You're speaking logically in a sense, well, I have to subtract myself from this equation. And emotionally, yeah. I was invested. I yeah, was emotionally, invested emotionally. So, so and I told you, I, I gave it a try with the guy. It just yeah. wasn't working. So you couldn't find yourself kind of hurt behind the whole scene? No? Gangster. Gangster. No? <laughs> well, yeah, it's, you know, it is hard to actually, especially if you're invested emotionally, to have to sit here and say, well, you got to put your to give the respect to the couple first, like you got to fix that situation. You know what I mean? I, so I got to subtract myself. So it does. From and my I, I personally couldn't my wrap my, it does. I couldn't, 
I couldn't just, wrap my head around it though. Yeah, yeah but I, I mean, it kind of leaves you in a shitty situation, like the person coming in because you were so invested into that, giving better hopes, and it didn't really play out for that. So, and the bad thing is, I, to, I don't want to be added to fix people's problems. You never, no, people need to understand that adding the person is not going to fix your problems. You got to fix your real own relationship on itself. I had to do the whole And thing. that was one of our biggest issues. They had problems before I even entered. And the problems fell into us where I was in the middle trying to navigate. Yeah. And I'm navigating that. shit that I wasn't even a part of. Yeah. But here they're unloading on me. So now I have to play middleman. Yeah. And then things get confused. Things get words get exchanged. Shit just when people listen, they have selective hearing no matter who it is. So you're always going to convey a message differently to someone else. Mm -hmm. And dealing with three people, that can have a lot of fucking drama. Yeah, it could be chaos every fucking day. Especially when you're dealing with three different emotions, three different things, coming to a situation that was already damaged. They're working. And the crazy part is what people, this is my perspective. You know, I mean, you could, you could correct Hold me. Hold on one second. If you guys have a question, can you send in the question? Because I can't catch up with the um. Yeah, put the question in the um in the box down there. The little Somewhere question box. And she'll click thing. it up right now. We gonna kick off the questions right now. I just had by because I never heard a perspective of somebody coming into the relationship. There's just two more things I want to touch on real quick with the, um, but yeah, um, doing that coming in. People have to understand you're not going to fix the problem coming in, bringing the additional person. And at the end of the day, it leaves them in a shitty situation. Because at the end of the day, you, some of the fault kind of falls back on you coming in. And I don't think people really put that together because sometimes, oh, you want, now you want to do this because she here. Now you want to be like this because she Or yeah. everything was fine before you got here. Oh, yeah, that one too. Everything was fine before you got here. That one too. And it was like, shit, no, there was problems. <laughs> now you feel like there's more problems because this person came in. Yo, that So this does not fit. And it does put you guys coming in. And I'm like, I'm not going to be the blame for the yeah. shit y'all already had. I will, I, will, I will admit to my shit. I ain't got no problem with it. Last time I checked, none of y'all paying my bills. I ain't come out y'all hole and we not sleeping together on a regular basis. So I can admit to my shit. <laughs> facts, facts. And then a lot of people don't see that and understand that. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, it is challenging. It is challenging. And I'm glad you snapped at your at your loves right there. You know what I mean? <laughs> how many? How, how you know? For one thing, right, right? Because a lot of people in this, in the, of course, we're all not all connected in the same area. You know, um, I know, I know, we from this, we live in the same state right now at the moment. But even at that out of town, you know what I mean? When someone wants you to come out of town and want you to change your life, how often Go do you away. deal with that? You know what I mean? How often do you deal with people trying to make you change your, what you got going on for yourself, make you come out and move where they're at? It's kind of like they treat you like a child. Like you don't know any better. Yeah. Like you ain't been living this life by yourself for X amount of years. That's yeah. how they treat you. They give you a, a rule book. I'm sorry. Last time I checked, I graduated college. There are no more fucking rules. Like, what are you doing? And they all tell me, well, you got to move here. And you need to, you know, look about, think about looking for another job. Or, you know, I don't do pets. Well, fuck it. We ain't doing it then. Yeah. Like, my my baby's going to stay here before anybody else. I'm, I'm just not going to play with you. <laughs> These are mine. This is just it. You know, if you don't like fucking animals, then I don't give a fuck about you. I'm yeah. just being clear because they going to be here when you're gone. Yeah. That's just it. Why wouldn't they? Like, you know what I mean? That, that's a part of your life. And I know a lot of people have to alter their life when they're, they're coming into a situation. They, the couples always feel like, you know, have, have you ever de dealt with a, a hierarchy system? Oh, yeah. Where yeah. she came first, I came second. And there were guidelines to touch. This is the shit I got before I even met yeah, the them. rules. The rules with the hierarchy system. Break <laughs> those down that you dealt with and how they made you feel. Um, we're. This is when I didn't know any better. I was still like studying and reading and trying to figure out what kind of dynamic I wanted because I don't know about other singles or potentials or unicorns, however you guys label us, but I. I I studied. I hate the unicorn name. I hate the unicorn I, name. I hate it too. I studied. Yeah. I listened to podcasts. I watched y'all. 
I, I watch other people's testimonies. I try to figure out what dynamic I wanted, you know, because there's so many ways to be polyamorous. Yeah. There's not just one way. So if you want to know what you want, you have to study. Mm -hmm. And so with me studying and engaging, I had people try to put me on a, I had one man from Africa. This man lived in Africa. He already had four wives. <laughs> he thought I was Ethiopian and was trying to bring me, fly me over. He wanted me to move to Africa and be his fifth wife. And I would see him every Friday would be my day. I, so he was living a polygamy life. Hey, you know, they equal. They equal they wife. Certain polygamy, they equal they wife. You might get a house, everything with it, depending on what the other four wives had. He was like, he was like, you would be my American beauty. We would fly to, to, to the U.S. together. And I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I, I, it was shooting this shot. I was rolling. Like I was rolling so hard. I was like, are you serious? I said, what do you think I am? He was like, you Ethiopian. You know the ways. I said, no. <laughs> you lost yourself. I'm not yeah. Ethiopian. I'm an island girl. I'm not an African girl. <laughs> like I'm African American, but I was my heritage is island. So I was like, you you got the wrong one. I said, I'm not gonna be nobody's fifth. Fourth, third, second, that shit don't fly with me. I'm sorry. Yeah. He was like, Well, I'll get you a house, I'll get you a car, you don't have to work. I don't give a fuck about all that. I can make my own money. I'm not trying to be in this shit for the money. If that's the case, I got I got plenty of men that beg to take care of me. Yeah. Hell, some women too. So I'm not worried about that. That's not my reason for doing this. And a lot of people think about they like to tell you, oh, You'll be taken care of, and that's another thing. That that was the that was the most part. That's the most part that I because I get sometimes um people. To hold, hold on one second. Hold yeah. on. Get your yeah, ass out. That, that, that's the most part that I try to get with everything. I'm talking now, to that, that was the most part that I try to get to Go. with these interviews because at the end of the day, people hit me up with the economics reasons, and I just speak about the economics Come reasons on. about Thank it. Thank you. And I believe um. No, I'm not trying to talk about it. If you know you're going to bring a third person, fourth person in, you're going to get those finances up. You know what I mean? Sorry. Um, oh, no, no, no. I'll touch back what I was telling the people. I was just keeping on just talking. No, but that's the main thing that I tell people when I do these interviews or I do these discussions because it's not about understanding the challenges of bringing another person. They're like, yo, talk about the economics. You talk about how it benefits when you bring another person financially and everything. I don't want to do that because regardless, when we get in a debate or in an argument, that's not what we're going to really discuss. I'm not going to watch one of, one, of, one of the women in my life talk about Oh, you gonna go out there, bitch? You ain't gonna get my other two, my 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 income. This this is this and that. It has nothing to do with what we gotta do to structure to make sure our family is correct. Being in a relationship, it does take work. I want to hear you out. I want to understand your love language, understand things that bother you, things that trigger you, things that trigger me. I want to elevate with each other. You know, what I mean, there's so much more. And it's like speak. they don't want to work. They want an instant, instant like do or die. Like <laughs> it's some couples that approach me like, you ready now? I'm like. Are we fighting? Is this Mortal Kombat? What the fuck? Like, yeah. we're supposed to be trying to get to know each other. They don't even want to go through that phase. And I think some of them have gone through the phase so many times that they're just shooting straight to the point now. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, okay, I needed to take a step back. Like, I removed myself from the situation completely. Like, right now, I'm not talking to nobody. I'm not doing nothing. Are because you going to talk to anybody? The right ones. Go ahead and put your description out there. Oh my god, I knew you was gonna make me do that. This is Pinda because it's with Porter. This Pinda. Get your DMs popping. Nah, I mean, Lord Jesus, give me the strength. Okay. Um. <laughs> Nobody want to quarantine alone. <laughs> well, you got your kid. You got your pets. <laughs> I, I like. I, I'm an introvert. And believe it or not, I've been enjoying this time. Yeah, I, I roll. You know, <laughs> I roll out of bed. I ain't gotta put on no clothes. I can work naked at my computer. Oh, see now your DMs gonna pop because of that, right? There. Oh fuck! Yeah, so I'm just being honest, though. No. I know people who work from home ain't sitting there in full clothes. 
Come on yeah, now. Yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> it was a kid. <laughs> but hey, is there any questions down there? Is your little square box lit up? No, it's not. No questions. Everybody's just oh, Timber. Everybody's just talking. Or, mm -hmm. but no questions. So okay, if I was to be dating at the moment, um, but everybody put in eyes. They put their hands up. They put in. They, I love working naked. I love naked working. Oh shit! <laughs> that was that was more so about oh, fuck, tilt. This shit is not working anymore. I don't want to hold. Okay, I'm just gonna hold it. Um, looking for or okay, what am I attracted to? Not what I'm looking for. What attracts me? The question. Yeah, what are you attracted to? Like, I, I would. I, man, I the question box the ain't there because it's gonna discourage a lot of people. Because I know you're gonna sit there and say we're not gonna get fat people. Um, <laughs> just kind of more of the balance of a, of a couple, because you are looking for a couple. Let me define, let me make sure I clarify that. You are looking for a couple, right? Correct. Are you willing, are you willing to start at the beginning with a, with, with a man or a female? Two I can start at the beginning with the female. I can't you start at the beginning be. with the male. You cannot, because that, that right there, you've been with a female for what? For the last 14 years without a male for the last 14, 15 years? Yeah. So the couple can you years. commit? Yes, I can commit. I don't know why that's such a people be like, can you commit? Like, what Look, the fuck? Here, here I wouldn't be in this situation. Here, here was the question. If it's serious or the three of you all are taking it serious and you have kids or pets, how do you easily introduce that to your family? Does your family have an issue the way you, you actually live like? <laughs> Short short version um i got outed in college oh i like that one too i'm most definitely gonna ask that question i got outed in college um, yeah my dad's a deacon pentecostal oh wow Wait, my mom is my mom is catholic born yeah. and raised so very religious families um i'm the baby of my dad and i'm the only girl very hard for him very hard so when I got outed in college, um, it was either be who I am, lose my financial aid from my dad, and he went ghost for three years. So yeah, I kind of like had to figure it out on my own. And at that point, it was like, okay, either I'm going to be who I am or I'm going to suffer. Because either way it goes, I'm going to suffer. Would I rather suffer being me or would I rather suffer doing what he wants me to do? just to make him happy. And I said, fuck it. I'm gonna be who I am. So it yeah. took him some time to get used to me being with women. And earlier this year, I just finally came out and told him that I decided to be polyamorous. Um, my mom said something to me. She was like, <laughs> at this point, I'm not shocked at anything that you do. <laughs> She said, you've always rode your own way. She said, you never gave a fuck about society or what people thought about you. She said, I, I'm proud of it. Yeah. yeah. My brother is polyamorous now because of me. That's he has two girlfriends and they travel together, everything. He was like, I didn't think this was something I could do. And I said, shit, me either. You know, you were divorced. You know, he went through his shit. And so. My dad, he's more like on the cool side with me now because he understands that I'm still me at yeah. core. I just don't feel like love should be a trap. It shouldn't be. It, love shouldn't be a trap. Love should make you alter who you are. Love should make you true to who you are. The love should always be unconditional. A lot of times I think a lot of people change who they are in the fear of what the reaction is going to be from the one they love. Yeah, you know, and, it, and it's deep. It's deep. You know, if you truly love me, love me for me. Let me show you who I am. I might be a fucked up individual. How do you know? The, like between Shalon and Chantel, the, the first thing that I always knew, I wasn't shit. I still claimed that I, I ain't shit. I ain't shit because I ain't shit. I tell people that all the time when they be like, "You look so much." I'm like, "I am not shit." Don't get that <laughs> twisted. <laughs> I ain't shit. Don't me over. Look, I ain't I love shit. This question. I love this question because yes, this is the question I should have thought. But shout out Alan. Um who who is who is it harder to communicate with? Men or women? Women. <laughs> women? Why would you say that? 
Why would I'm you like that? to be honest. I've always been cool with niggas. Like I've always been cool with dudes. Dudes like I can hang out with boys better than I can hang out with girls. Like that's just women. that's just that. that's just who I am. Like I've always always been real cool with, with dudes. Like I can hang with you and not want to fuck with you. And and a lot of guys in college, those are my boys because they knew they couldn't get at me. They knew it. So I built like really big big friendships, like brothers. And yeah. so even with my last, you know, the last guy I was dealing with, like he said, he was like, basically how he broke it down. He was like, you know, you my Gina to my Martin, you know, I, me and you can joan on each other and love on each other at the same damn time. It's not hard. It's very easy because that's just my personality. But to women, they look at me and all of a sudden, I, how can I put this? When I straighten... <laughs> When I straighten my hair, I'm such a bitch. <laughs> the diva comes out in me. And I look a certain way. And with some women, which I found out the hard way, women find out that their husbands or their spouses are way more attracted to me than they thought. And shit gets real. Competition. Do you think it's more of a competition thing? Like, it becomes competitive. Oh, she's it's laughing. Like, she's bubbly. She she dances. She doesn't mind being sexual. Like, it just... Okay, so let me ask you like this, right? Since you do so much, right? So do you think it, it becomes a competitive situation to where they think, okay, were they... Because I do... I, I talk to a lot of people. Some some people, I, I, you know, I help coach behind everything that I've learned. So and you know me, you've been, been talking forever, so... Yeah, the, uh, this is real. This part, I really want to know this part then because I never heard it from perspective from yours. You know what I mean? So, even though you're naturally just you and approaching the situation, because I tell people the person coming in knows a couple for the couple, the couple has to kind of relearn each other because you're bringing somebody else in. So, the competitive mind from a woman, from the wife, will always be there with, okay, she's coming in, he's seeing enjoyment with her, you know what I mean? But why? So, when they say why, they turn around and start doing the comparison. So is it because she has this, because she has that? What is your thoughts when the wife is actually going down that route, starting the comparison, starting the, co the competition, or feeling the absent? Like, do you enjoy because I don't do this? Or do you, you know what I mean, when they start thinking less than of themselves? When they start doing that, I just basically say, I want to fuck you more than I want to fuck him. That's oh, just it. Hold on. I did not expect that answer. <laughs> so why are we competing? <laughs> Yeah. Why are we it? competing? I tell okay. women from the get go, I'm gonna be more on you than I am on him. But if me and you don't work, we ain't gonna work. That, that, no, that tells everybody that even if you're fucking or not fucking, I tell people that's the core of it. Or whatever the women have in these situations was actually gonna balance out that. But what is your mind without fucking? What is your mindset when you actually see that and feel like it's you know? I I literally pulled him to the side, like without him, I'm like me and you, let's talk, you know, what's going on? What are you feeling? What yeah. are you feeling? Not what you know, not what you see. What are you feeling? Because yeah. that's the core of everything. What a yeah. woman feels. Mm -hmm. And they'll tell me what they're feeling and I have to reassure them, Yeah. which in all actuality, they should be reassuring me. But still, sometimes it just it's just natural. You know, so, instead of being the wife, and then they have to relearn their partner, it's going to look at it like, okay, I got to question myself because you're coming into this situation. And the fact that you invited me into this situation, you may need to do a little bit more work on you. For security purposes. Yes. Yeah. You may need to, you, may, you and your spouse, let me go to the other one. You and your spouse may need to have a conversation. You may, y'all may need to set more boundaries or not set boundaries. Like, that's just what it is because it's not something I can fix. That has nothing to do with me because any other woman that comes in is going to be that issue. There's one couple I was talking to early on in my stages and the guy was really, really into me, really into me. But when we met up, that girl took two, two looks at me and she looked at me and she looked at how he was looking at me and she walked away from the table. That was it for her. Yeah, And so when me and him had a conversation, he was like, she just could not get over the way you looked. She was like, your, your hair, your, your body, the way you walked in and come in at the room, how you sat and how you spoke, it just threw her off. It, 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 and it's intimidating. I get that a lot 
from just the gay community now. I'm a little intimidating because whatever I say, I stick to. I don't let people shake me. I've been through too much shit in my life. Ain't nothing you say that's going to come out your mouth that's going to fucking shake me. Because at the end of the day, I come home to me. Yeah. I don't go home to nobody else. And I don't yeah. answer to nobody but God. Yeah. So but the, the it's reason. not, it, that's not how I try to come off. I like to keep it light and fun. The, and, and I know that's your whole approach, right? With, with everything. And the reason I ask that, because you see that in a lot of situations with them just because when you come in and it's already an established relationship regardless if they don't have problems or they, they, and someone asked someone had asked right now not that well a while back they had asked did they feel like the last couple of you with if you were the solution and that's why i kind of i kind of figured that you know the problems were their problems but well you know, that couple they had had infidelity problems and this is how all that shit started i didn't find that out till later on that that is how, why they became poly I mean, I had the same issue, so I mean, I really can't really speak on that. But I, mean, I know I, you do. I've 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 watched your story. I've 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 watched it. My personal issues. See, what but they didn't. Things. But they didn't work their issues out. That's yeah, the point. Yeah. I, I didn't expect nobody to really fix those things that were coming in. I really had to fix everything with Shalon, to be honest with her. You know, so yeah, like, yeah. So I can't really knock that. But it takes a lot of work personally with that. So that's why I asked that because that was a lot of the challenges where um it felt more competitive and then it started becoming a questioning kind of a thing. Okay, what is this individual got that we're you're bringing in? And then when even though even though she could be connecting with you, it still becomes a whole thing. It's not about what I'm doing. It's and that's why doing. I would after I found after that that issue, I was like, okay, I need to change my approach. I became more quiet, more timid. I just you know. I cut down my personality, you know, the way I walked, I dressed differently, just trying to see, to seem less, I know this sounds stupid, <laughs> but it's going to come out my mouth, less attractive. Like, to less. Eco for what, for you to make the wife feel comfortable? So you felt that was what that was the best route to actually sit there and 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 I guess that it was a trial and area. I needed to see if I step back, my my presence, my attitude, the way I walk, me in general. If I tone that down to like maybe a seven, let's see how the situation would work. Yeah, and then it was like, oh, she's not being herself. Yeah, so I had to realize that fuck it, I'm tired of trying to please y'all asses. Fuck it. It's not working. Start, do you, did, okay, so, okay, check this out, right? So, um, when you started downgrading yourself, of course, you were doing that out of the respect and love for the relationship that they had themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, so when you reached that point of fuck it, did you feel you, read, you reached the point to where you were almost reaching insecurities? Because that's almost insecurities in a sense of you it became more respect the relationship. It, I, I started getting deeper into myself and yeah. shutting down. I wasn't insecure. I just was shutting down. I was zoning out. I just didn't give a fuck anymore. Yeah. Because if I can't be me, then what's the point? Yeah. I want to be, a, I don't want to be a lifetime of being alter someone myself. else. Yeah. I yeah. don't want to alter myself to make someone feel good about themselves. Like I have been in relationships where I have literally been a trophy. I was there just to be looked at. Yeah. Do you know how demeaning that is for someone who is educated, who busts their ass? Yeah. To yeah. speak eloquently. Yeah. To hold a fucking conversation. Yeah. To be to be minimized to just looks. And I've danced all my life, so being in the spotlight and being complimented—that's not a compliment to me. People think. Because you say, oh, you're pretty, you're gorgeous, that I'm just taking it. And oh, my God, thank you. I'm not. Tell me I'm intelligent. I speak well. I can hold a conversation. I, I have a big heart. But I, to, to me, the reason I asked those questions, the, the reason I, I touched on that subject right there, because I know that's a lot of things that people coming into a situation they actually have to do. Because when the wife converts and then starts questioning, because the wife is going to, she's going to question herself. A wife is going to question the whole situation at hand. 
You know what I mean? So when she starts to do that, I don't think they understand the effect it brings to the person coming in that's loving genuinely and giving their all. And it's up to the husband as well to make yeah. her feel secure, to re to like yeah, reiterate what the goal is of why they're doing this. Yeah. Because if he does not have her back and he's not pushing her up, she's going to fall. And she's exactly. going to fall right on top of me. Exactly. And a bitch can't breathe. So I don't want to be, I don't want to be the straw that broke the, the camel's back. I don't want to be that person. Because that's guilt. That's guilt. Like you wanted to come and actually, you know, I want to say improve that, that, that right there. But to actually just, um, man, I got to come with a swanky word because it's just um, kind of more of a blossom. We're blossoming the relationship more. We're adding to what you already had. You know what I mean? And, and people don't understand when a person comes into these situations, they just want to add and also involve and, and, and take in some of that enjoyment, that structure that was there. You know what I mean? Because it's always good to add to great. You know what I mean? So it's not to take away from great. You are already great. Let me add to that great and we become amazing. And I think a lot of people get caught up in the mix, especially if it's already damaged to where they start. It just starts tumbling down. It becomes more fucked up. And everybody leaves that situation with chaos and questioning themselves. So and what it really I, attracts me is watching a loving couple. Yeah. Like, I want to see love. I want to see respect. Yeah. I want to see emotional growth within each other. Because if you guys can provide that for each other, then there's no ends to what I can receive and what I can give. Mm -hmm. But if that's not there, then there's already an issue. Because what I'm seeing now, mostly out of these couples, is they just want to have a fucking good time, and all they want to do is have sex. And I'm just yeah. not here for it. I'm not an object. Mm -hmm. I'm not something so you can put on the. You? Does that discourage you from actually living this type of lifestyle? That's why I step back. Yeah. That's you why I completely that's... have gone ghost from the situation. Because it's just not work. I'm 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 not going to be used. I'm just not. And when men look at me. They look past me. They just see the physicality of it. And I'm just not up for it anymore. Like, I've kind of gotten fed up with what I'm receiving. So I just stop answering people. I tell them I'm not available at the moment. I'm chilling. Because I'm just sick of so it. What you call that? What you call that? Uh, uh, emotional unavailable? Emotionally unavailable? I'm everything unavailable. Yeah, everything. You couldn't touch me with a 10-foot pole if you tried. Goddamn. They really... <laughs> <laughs> like no, I understand that because all the all the challenges that you actually really had to go and it's really about finding self in these situations. A lot of people don't understand how people leave these situations that are joining these situations. And you know, it's draining. At the end of the day, the end of the day it, yeah, it is very draining because you're joining a couple where you leave by yourself, but the couple is still there. Thank you. And people do not understand that shit. Like I get so tired of people like you don't know what you did, bitch. When you leave, you leaving with your man or your woman. I'm stuck by myself having to figure this shit out and building myself back up for the next situation I have to deal with. You got somebody to lean on. Mm -hmm. So stop acting like your life is just fucking blew up. Because if you had problems before me, you're going to have them after me. Yeah. And I get tired of couples blaming the person that they want in their life, that they invited. Because I didn't jump in your pool. Mm -hmm. You invited me. Yeah. And acting like you're so devastated because I decided to walk away from something that was not healthy for me. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's a lot of things that people don't understand that because they feel like um, even though they're kind of damaged or bored or whatever it is with a relationship, bringing somebody else is just going to bring some thrill. And don't, they don't realize this is really true emotions. This is real true feelings, especially becoming with a high art system, being a secondary when people are really just looking for love. And even the fucked up part about it. An unorthodox situation. The second, the couple I tried twice with, I actually had feelings for the girl. I had real feelings for her because we had developed three or four months of conversation and, and talking and video chatting and everything. I had built something with her. So what do you want from a relationship? Yeah, I'm about to read that question too. So what do you want out of a relationship? Like, this is my question. The same relationship you have with your spouse. That part. And, and see, that. why? I love, how, I love how this one family answered it right, the Taylor family. They said at the end of the day, um, and this is what I do, right? You can never equal, because you can't equal the, the history that, that with the person coming in. And the oh, I got 26 minutes of remaining time. What does that mean? 26 
minutes. You probably have 26 seconds. Yeah, what does that mean? Oh, we about to get cut off. We oh, shit. Are we going to have to restart this again? <laughs> we can restart this again. We can... <laughs> oh, no. Y'all, I'm about to be cut off. So give me a second. I got to save this, and then we'll be right back after these short messages.